Get down on the ground now. Put your okay. hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Can I call my mom, please, man? No, you ain't calling nobody. Can I please call my mom? No. Not right now. Maybe That's when you're in the jail. I'm on Civil Law for Attorneys React, and in today's episode, we respond to a dash cam in which an officer is pulling a person over for a standard traffic violation. No must, no fuss. But of course, it doesn't end that way. August 2023, a Fond du Lac County deputy was on patrol when he observed a vehicle with a registration plate expired by nearly two years in El Dorado. Yeah, the registration plate would do it. The registered owner Two years is a long time. 22-year-old male named Christopher, who also had a revoked license plate due to a prior OWI. Given the time of day on a Friday and the heavy traffic. All right, so we can see here that we've got some apparently road construction on. We've got some orange barrels here on the side of the road that he just passed one and we got two others in the distance. So not necessarily the most convenient place to pull this person over. So we're going to follow this person for a while to get to a safer place to initiate the traffic stop. Fair enough. And anticipated he would exit the Passing those roadside orange markers. However, without activating emergency lights or sirens, he observed Chris exit abruptly and run a stop sign possibly indicating an attempt to elude the deputy. We got a person sharply changing lanes, potentially reckless driving, blowing a stop sign. More reasons to conduct that roadside stop. So now we're going to put on the sirens and try to actually effectuate the stop. What happens next? Yep, there he blew through that stop sign. Yep. All right, Perf, cannot hit him. No, it's the same thing to us. We're going to be metal is coming up to Scott's stream. We're going like three times the speed limit right now. Driver is revoked. Uh, registration is expired. This guy is obviously, he's chasing, he's obviously behaving recklessly. Yeah, I'm saying he's gonna and evading. Uh, seven six, I'm at military and rolling metals. I'm looking for spike. They want to put out some spike strips. Sounds like a pretty decent idea. It's going to be a Dodge Avenger. Pulling past Summit right now. <laughs> All right, so we're getting some interlaced video of other cops who apparently are putting down the spike strip. After sideswiping another vehicle and seeing another deputy ahead positioned with stop sticks, Chris quickly recognized he was in deep sh and turned into a parking lot, ultimately accepting his fate. So apparently this guy realized that, you know, it was doomed and decided to give up. It's a little late, but, you know, he could, he might avoid some more serious penalties if he surrenders now. You know, you can always make things worse by, of course, physically interacting with the cops. But, you know, we've got him on evading, but we got him on speeding. We got him on reckless driving. We got him on expired tags. But, you know, if he actually chooses to surrender, I imagine some of those charges will be dropped because we recognize that he finally wised up so you know hey can't hurt when those negotiations with the prosecutor gonna be turned into fairfield high risk yep the, it harms up so you know that's nice get on the ground get down on the ground now gets down the ground put your okay hands behind your back. put your hands behind your back it doesn't get resisting that's nice he hit someone else's car Okay, that's gonna be a problem. I got some this car. He says me. he has in the car. And then I have an open charge right now for driving without my life. And he admits okay. the fact that he has no yeah, license. All I got is like forty dollars. Can I can I call my mom, please? Man? No, you ain't calling nobody. Why? Why do you think you deserve a phone call? That's my mom, man. I gotta let and her you, know. You hit somebody too. I don't know why. That's why I pulled over up to you. I know I stuck, man. What's your name, bro? Oh, it's Chris. I'm Chris what? It's are you okay? Maybe a couple of weeks for him. All right, let's stay hot because I blink too much. All right, we're not ideally into this situation, but you know, this is something a defense attorney can work with. It's not as bad as some of the things we've got. You know, we've got him driving quite fast speeds, probably three times in excess of the limit on some of these roads, if not more than that. We got him evading. We got him uh, with expired tags and driving without a license and reckless driving, including reckless by speed. But you know, he did. You know, wise up eventually and pull over and surrender himself. So, yeah, this is something a defense attorney can work with. Huh? Can you get myself in the Yeah, we'll grab it. Also, you have in the car, and I don't know this law's jurisdiction, so that could be a problem. Why will you get to the jail? Why well, can't call my mom? Can I please call my mom? No. Not right now. Maybe What's when up, you're in the jail. Why can't you I just put a lot of people's lives in danger. I'm sorry. A man. lot of people. Listen, I'm trying to worry about including mine. 
I'm sorry. Incidentally, by the way, just in case you need the legal clarification, there is no right to a phone call. It's one of those tropes in television shows and movies. I have my phone call, like they did in the Matrix movie. I know my rights. I want my phone call. Yeah, Keanu, that's not one of your rights. You don't have the right to a phone call. You have the right to a lawyer and you have the right to remain silent. You may, you may be able to contact that lawyer by phone, but that's not quite the same thing as the right to a phone call. Uh, Jake, up with the press for me. Everything is fine now. I really can't call nobody? Nope. Not right now. Well, I'll take some pictures first. You're going to have to wait. Nope. So there's a you want to take pictures of it real quick? Yeah. And then I'll move your car. And then you show. did hit somebody. I don't know. This, 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 this right person. Yeah. Once you're done with pictures, Bill, okay. you want to move your car? No, this you car looks it. like it's been somewhat damaged. Here. Rear, bad rear bumper break. <clears throat> he got, he got her right here. He passed her on the shoulder. Right. And so. Medium damage on the rear driver's side bumper. Other than that, looks like all wheels intact. He's arrested. Deputies detected a strong odor of coming. Well, he admitted to. So that's a pretty big clue. A backpack containing multiple bags of totaling 33 grams and a grinder. Yeah, obviously this is going to vary widely from jurisdiction to jurisdiction in this day and age. Some places it's completely illegal. Some places don't care. The federal government, of course, makes it illegal everywhere in the United States, but they don't typically care unless you're in violation of state law or you're doing something else at the time. This is going to be one of those things that's going to vary widely by place to place. Ah, uh, on this Sheriff Southern Circuit. Smells hot. He was cooking. <laughs> Where'd you see him at? Uh, also, uh, maybe driving under the influence, depending on, you know, how much money he had in his system at the time. So we might have a DUI. I was waiting for him to get off an exit before I lit him up because traffic was so heavy on 41. And it's heavy all over. Got you right here. Thank God. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Did you take it down to the field? Any way, let's be enough. Did you feel it in there? Did I feel him hit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was well, she seems like she's not too hurt, so that's I was, nice. I speeded up. And then Her I, car could be I better. I seen the police behind me, and I slowed down so they could get him, and I was going to follow him to the very end. This is ridiculous. You had your seatbelt on, right? Of course. And you're not injured? No. Okay. No. Okay. It just made my car go when he hit me, and then he was going like this. What was he running from? Him? And why was he even running? Yeah, we're trying to. Figure that out right now. Why did you pass on this side? I mean, because he wanted God. to get away from us. You know? Well, he's hiding. Something. Well, fortunately, the damage doesn't seem to be too severe. You know, it's not ideal, but fortunately, no one seems to be injured. The damage to the cars seemed relatively minor. He got lucky a little bit because obviously, when you engage in a high speed chase, you know, when you're driving at excessive speed, the reason the speed limits exist in the first place is because, you know, it's not safe for those roads. So you might fly off the road depending on conditions. And also, it's not safe for other people. You know, someone pulls out of the wrong parking lot at the wrong time. You can cause a real damage or even death. And of course, you eat all those penalties because you're the one creating the problem. Fortunately, by reason of fate, he did not incur any of those more extreme penalties. So again, his prospects are looking a little bit more promising than some cases we've covered. And we were already right there. <laughs> Brian, myself. I was almost going to have just have Brian like just block so he doesn't go more into the city. Yeah. yeah. Before I ask you any questions, all right, I got to read this to you. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court. Is that why I ran? Yeah, you're very much under arrest at this point for various reasons. Please invoke your right to remain silent every time. All the time. I want to remain silent. I want a lawyer. Just say it. Say it like a mantra. Say it and then remain silent. Do it. Say it. Do it. That's all I want. How much? Not that much. Maybe an ounce. Stupid. Yeah. No, very stupid. Only a criminal traffic open to us. It's not like you have warrants or big open cases. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah. Realizing that you have these rights, are you willing to answer questions and make a statement? It was perfectly set up. Brian had sticks. I was going to jump in. Yeah, right nobody away. was south of him. I had to get stopped, probably. I have a few questions for you. Is that something you want to answer? Or want me to ask, and you can decide if you want to answer them? Everything's out, so. Just invoke your right to remain silent every single time. Please just say, I want to remain silent. I want a lawyer. Okay, the question you got, I'm going to try to answer. Okay. Hi. Howdy. Just as I got like south of bees. She was going southbound on okay. Rally Meadows and this vehicle decided to that was being chased by us. Decided right. to go on the shoulder. That's his damage. Here's her damage. Okay. No injury, seatbelt on. He was being chased. Did I let police officer go by yep. me? Yep. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Um, if you guys were watching dispatch, no, there's a couple cars over on military there that are stopped before the light 
I don't know if they rear end. The, the, the city is heading there right now. Perfect. Yep. I just saw that as I was headed over here. I'm like, I'll check on that in a minute. Okay. All righty. I understand you revoked. And what do you have? An open traffic case? That's it? That's why you ran? I have a, that little bit of. That's not a little bit. That's a charge. Well, yeah, it's a charge, but I mean, it's not like you got. I just don't want to get rid of the traffic case and all this and this. I've been trying to. I mean, you blew the stop sign at in North Fond du Lac. Why'd you blow that stop sign? I'm just going to grab, have you fill out something for me real quick. The confession, man, the confession. And then we can I didn't take a stop sign. You just didn't see me stop. Give me five, ten minutes in the chat. Yeah, and I've confessed to the stop sign thing. All right. I saw you. I saw you. I'm like, my plates are suspended. I'm going to try to pull me over. Okay. Well, you're more than welcome to stand out here. You can sit in your car if you'd like. I'll grab you a pen and that phone. I'm going to have you fill out. I'm going to take pictures, put all this in there, and then uh, I'll try and get you out of here so you can get on your way home, okay? I don't know if we've got 10 seconds to do two or not. I mean, it's happening. So I'm going to hook up. Already, I mean, when you see me light you up on rolling metals, I mean, you took off like a bat out of hell and went around that car in the gravel. Is everybody okay? I'm not cut. Everyone's I okay. That. I heard that. Yeah, they were okay. I'm looking at them. I'm looking at them. What's that? Probably going to jail. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. For the moment, point, yes, you you're going to jail. My emergency lights behind you. Did you see me on the off ramp when I was coming up and turn them on? No. That's, yeah, I saw you. I was already, I was on the side and you kind of, kind of speed. Okay. So when you got off of the interstate and you blew that stop sign and then turned on rolling metals before you got to like Walmart area, you see me? So see, there's the confession to evading, right? The words out of his mouth, people, he just admitted to seeing the cop with his lights and sirens on. He, so he takes away that option, right? His defense lawyer might have been able to say, you know what? He just didn't see it. He was already so far ahead, he just didn't see it, and always guilty of his speeding. But see the words out of his mouth, people. He just admitted to seeing the cop. He just admitted to hearing their light, their seeing their lights and hearing their sirens. He just confessed to evading. Or if he saw that, that's why he turned in here. Or maybe it's always a like scramble. Yeah. You're, you just got a minute there to ask for like, yeah. We both your right to remain silent, people. Yeah, stop. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I'll call my for, once we get to the jail, it's not going to happen on your cell phone, though. You can call on your cell phone, so I can let her know. Mm -mm. Nope. Well, at least it's going to be able to make it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, they give you minutes at the jail. You got some cash, too, that's going to go on your books. You'll be able to order phone time. <laughs> we should at least run them through fields. I know, but it's a pursuit. It's going to be smart. Would you be yeah, willing to do field sobriety yeah. testing for me? Is We're going to get... What's that? If he runs, I don't feel like going with this. I'm already getting these charges. Huh? I'm already getting these charges. I know I'm not. I promise you that. Okay. Then let's, let's do the test and make sure. We're gonna Say no. Huh? Say no. That's the last one. Well, I don't think you're... Uh, I think you're... I mean, a breathalyzer doesn't yeah, show weak in your system. That, that only shows up. We're going to get you out, take you out of cuffs, and we're going to do a couple tests in front of my patrol squad here, okay? Don't do That's the field. Okay. Don't don't ever do the walking test. Like, don't ever do that. Those things are just a trap, man. If you want to do the breathalyzer at the side of the road, fine. Those things tend to be reasonably accurate. Although, of course, you can defer to the to the cop station. Please see your local laws to make sure that that's true. But it is in most places. Typically, the only time when you're refusing is when you get to the police station. But double check your local law. But yeah, never do the uh, field sobriety test where you're like touching your nose and walking the line and all that stuff. That stuff is so so open to interpretation. It's just a fool's errand. Don't ever do that. Step on out. Okay. Once we get the test in, I'll let you hit your book. Okay? Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show. Link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. See, tip my pen. Maybe you follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. All right, don't move your head, okay? Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, this one's going to go up, okay? All right, you can relax. Next test is going to be a walk and turn test. Have you ever done these before? You have? Okay. All right, all you have to do is do it on that right there. We don't do it on the line anymore. You see it on the TV, but we don't do it on the line anymore. So put, it, put your left foot on that line. I'm taking three steps. I want you to take nine steps. When you reach that nine steps, take a series of small steps around that planted front foot, coming back to the line and taking nine heel control steps back down that line, all right? I'm gonna do three for demonstrational purposes. While doing this, I want you to look down at your feet, keep your arms down to your side, count your steps out loud, and don't stop the test till you believe the test is completely over with. You can begin.
Well, who seems to be walking uh, a straight enough line to me? When I tell you to do so, I want you to lift a foot of your choice, left or right foot, approximately six inches off the ground. While doing this, I want you to count all loud. 1,001, 1,002. All right, you can begin. 1,002. All right, you can relax. Same thing as before. I want you to concentrate on this pen, okay? The tip of this pen. When I tell you to do so, I want you to tilt your head back, and I want you to count mm -hmm. to 30, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, you can begin. In your head. After conducting standardized field sobriety tests, it was determined Crisp would not be charged with OWI. Done. Okay, here's the deal. I'm not arresting you for OWI. All right, you this morning. I, I can't even tell you if it's in your system anymore. All right, you are going to go to jail, all right, for fleeing and looting. All right, and I'm open cases. All okay. right. And I'm open cases. Fling eluding, felony. First degree recklessly endangering safety, hitting that car, another felony. All you had to do was stop, all right? Two misdemeanors yep. you would have had, and you, you wouldn't even went to jail today for that little bit of it. So like I tell everyone, I know you've been up forth with me. We'll go this side. You have anything hidden on your person? All right. All right. I like to give everyone a chance before we go in there. I don't know if you that. I might have a little bit of money in this pocket. So. Oh, money I ain't worried about. I'm talking about is there anything like oh, that. No, I don't no, Okay. You can have money in your pocket. That I don't care about. Catch you guys later. Thanks much. Good. Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a yep. result of the 4.5 mile pursuit, Chris successfully earned himself felony counts of first degree recklessly endangering safety, yep. vehicle fleeing eluding an officer, yep. misdemeanor counts of possession of THC, operating while revoked, and bail jumping. He yep. also racked up $600 worth of traffic citations. Yeah. Lastly, his cash bond was set at $25,000, but was later modified to $10,000 three weeks afterward. Oof, that's a rough cash bond, people. I mean, we've seen cases recently where people are doing all kinds of things and getting like $500, $1,000 cash bonds. And this guy gets a $25,000 cash bond? Oof, I guess this jurisdiction doesn't play around, man. All right, people, so that will bring us to the end of this episode. One of the lessons we learn is, as always, don't commit a felony to avoid a misdemeanor. It's a bad plan. You know, he was pulled over initially for the registration issue, a total non-thing. And he might, they, they might not have even found the drugs and they might have not cared. And even if they cared, it was a misdemeanor in this jurisdiction. And also, you know, by just not doing other stuff, he might be able to get that charge reduced or deleted completely. But he decided to go on a high speech chase and therefore evaded and committed first degree reckless endangerment both of which are felonies and he hit somebody and caused damage to their car fortunately no one was seriously injured or he'd be facing other charges for you know assault with a deadly weapon because of the car but still guys look he he could have just pulled over it wouldn't have been that big a deal and now he's facing serious serious charges he might be able to get them dismissed they might not but why take the risk why put your fate in control of the prosecutor who incidentally has all the evidence they need against you because you yourself confessed again without your confession the police might the defense lawyer might be able to argue you didn't do these things it would be harder but it's still possible what with the confession what is your defense lawyer going to do it's not great so yeah don't do the felonies to to uh, avoid the misdemeanor and don't uh confess to the cops those are always good tips i've been on civil law and until later my friends i hope all's well cheers my friends and goodbye big verdict